so in order to deal with all these things that is process performance knowledge skill technology career development od interventions are necessary manager will not change his attitude or behavior the perception of the employees has to be changed that is the meaning of t group or sensitivity training performance management the main idea is to evaluate the performance and motivate the employees to work well that is performance management hello everyone this is purna chandra faculty department of commerce and management vidyashram the temple of excellence so we are dealing with the subject organizational behavior for third sem bba and today we will be dealing with unit 5 and the first and the last session for unit 5 and the name of the chapter is od intervention that is organizational development interventions so in today's class what we will be understanding is meaning definition of od intervention that is what is the meaning and definition of organization development intervention and also we will be understanding what are the different types of od intervention that are four different types which we will be understanding that is human process intervention techno structural intervention and again human resource management intervention and strategic interventions will be understanding and also we will be dealing with optimal success of od intervention so when will a od intervention be successful we will be understanding in today's class so we'll start so introduction to od so basically what is od we'll understand here od interventions are programs and processes designed to improve organizational functioning that is suppose the organization is not functioning well then some intervention is required so that the functioning is rectified according to the organization goals so od interventions are required in the form of programs and processes so next then these are structured program designed to solve a problem does enabling an organization to achieve its goals so od interventions are structured and they are specified in such a way that it enables the organization in achieving its goals this is the another meaning this issues may relate to process so there might be some problem with the process and there might be some problem with the performance and the workers or the workforce managers they lack knowledge they lack skill and the technology is not the latest technology and there is a need for career development so in order to deal with all these things that is process performance knowledge skill technology career development od interventions are necessary so this is the introduction to od so next we go for what do we call as meaning of od so what does the meaning state here the set of structured activities in which selected organizations units engage with the task or sequence of task where the task goals are related directly or indirectly to organization improvements that is something is going wrong in the organization people are not working well reason might be there is some loopholes in the structure or in the design of the organization so in order to rectify all these problems od interventions are necessary so this is the meaning of od so next we go for definition of od so what does the definition state so od intervention is a sequence of activities actions events intended to help an organization improve its performance and effectiveness so the definition also states that in order to improve the performance and effectiveness of an organization which is not doing well there should be organization development interference or intervening that is the meaning so next process of od intervening so there are five different steps in which od organizational development intervening takes place first one is diagnosis so the problem area is diagnosed that 
it is identified what is the actual problem, what is the root cause of the problem will be diagnosed in the first step. In the second step, designing and intervention strategy. So once you know the problem, you design a particular strategy or how to intervene in the organization. So next, development of OD intervention strategy. So you design and finally you develop one strategy to intervene inside the organization for the betterment of the organization. So next, implementation of the OD intervention strategy. That is, after developing the strategy, it has to be implemented. So in the fourth step, whatever strategy that has been formulated in the third step will be implemented. So after implementation, to check whether the interference is a success or not, it has to be evaluated. So evaluation takes place in the last step. So this is the process of OD intervention. So next, we go for types of OD interventions. There are four different steps or four different types. So we will understand human process interventions, techno-structural interventions, human resource management interventions, strategic change interventions. So we will deal with all these types one by one. So the first one, human process intervention. What does this basically mean? So we will understand. Human process interventions mainly includes T group or sensitivity training. So you conduct certain sensitivity training and you identify the problem areas and you also give certain training to the employees so that they alter their behavior towards the organization goal. Then process consultation that is if the existing process inside the organization is not being done well by the employee. So there is an external consultant who comes and these employees, managers, subordinates can consult him and improve their skills regarding the process that will be carried out. That is process consultation. So next is team building. So obviously inside the organization, there should be unity in diversity. There should be teamwork. Suppose there is any conflicts inside the organization or inside the departments inside the organization, then what we do is we indulge in team building. Next, third party peace making. That is here a third party who is external to an organization interferes inside the organization and he brings about peace by speaking or conducting interviews to the employees or by arranging a conference and in this way he interferes inside the organization and rectifies the problem. So all these things are with the human process intervention. So next in human process intervention we have something to study that is T group or sensitivity training. This is the first one. This technique is based on the assumption that manager's behavior is not how we think he behaves but how others view his behavior. So what is the meaning here? So now manager behaves in a certain way. So it depends on how employees perceive it. So here what happens obviously manager cannot restrict himself to certain style of behaving. He has to behave in a standard way according to the organization goals. So here what happens is the basic objective of this is to change the behavior of people through unstructured group interactions. That is, manager will not change his attitude or behavior. The perception of the employees has to be changed. That is the meaning of T group or sensitivity training. So next, next we go here for process consultation. So here it includes a set of activities on the part of the consultant to help. So the consultant will come to help in the organization development he will conduct certain activities. So here it helps the client to perceive, understand and act upon process events which occur in the client environment. So what the consultant will do is he will perceive what is happening inside the organization. Then he will understand the problems and he will finally act upon the process events which occur in the client's environment. Client's environment means organization. So this is process consultation that is 
an external consultation will intervene and he will rectify the things. That is the meaning. So next, human process interventions. So here we are understanding what is known as team building. So here it is a process of diagnosing and improving the effectiveness of a group. That is, it checks whether there is conflicts inside the group. Suppose if there is any conflicts, it rectifies it. So when conflicts are rectified, the group becomes or the team becomes effective. So here it gives particular attention to work procedures and interpersonal relationships. So if there are any work procedures which is hampering the development of a team, then what happens? It will be rectified. That is the meaning. So next we go for it deals with task related conflicts. So there are a lot of conflicts inside the organization. Conflict means misunderstanding. So because of the task that has been assigned, there might be some conflicts and personality conflicts. So personality conflicts means each one's personality is different. Each one's behavior is different because of that there might be some misunderstanding. So to deal with these two conflicts, team building is necessary. So this is regarding human process intervention team building. So next what we see is third party peacekeeping human process intervenes third party peacekeeping. So here third party peacekeeping makes king is done by a third party to resolve conflicting situation that is a external person comes inside he understand what is the situation and he rectifies those situations by interfering. So it analyzes the processes involved diagnose the conflict causes with the assistance of a third party. So an external person who is an expert, a human resource manager or a researcher, he interferes and he brings peace inside the organization. This is human process intervention. So next we go for techno structural interventions. So we will understand this. Techno structural interventions are becoming increasingly relevant to today's rapidly changing markets and technology landscape. Techno structural intervention is what technology you are using, what is the design of the job, whether it is outdated or whether it is according to the trends that is going on today. So here organization design is studied and altered for the betterment of the organization and total quality management that is TQM that is it checks whether the quality of the produ products produced is good or not. If it is good, fine. If it is not good, then some techno structural intervention is required regarding upgradation of the technology and processes that take place. Next, work design. So if the present work design is not fetching good result, it has to be redesigned. That is work design. Next, job enrichment. That is if the employees are not working well, they are not given proper education or knowledge regarding the work and they are not given good training and development to deal with the activities. So there has to be job enrichment to make the employees skilled, knowledgeable and competent. This is the meaning. So next we go for human resource management intervention. So it mainly includes Organ performance management. This is the main thing here. Organization use performance management to support employee in terms of training. That is performance is appraised and after performance appraisal you get to know whether the employees are knowledgeable and skilled. If they are not then you will have to give them training. Then career development that is you should give them guidance or you should educate them or you should give them a foresight regarding how their career will be developed in future. Suppose there is an employee who is working in a department, how we can become the departmental head. This is called career development. Next, compensation decisions that is salary of the employees, what will be the percentage hike in the salary of the employees and what other benefits they will get, bonus incentives that is compensation decisions. So when you are giving good salary, good incentives, bonus, people will be motivated to work. That is the meaning. Next, promotions. So if a particular employee is working very well, then he can be promoted as a departmental head. So he can work better. 
that is the meaning it is a corporate management tool that helps managers motivate and evaluate the employees work so here performance management the main idea is to evaluate the performance and motivate the employees to work well that is performance management so next where we go is in human resource management interface the next is developing talent obviously inside the organization you have to develop talent to come out with quality products or services so here some methods for developing talent are career planning that is you plan their career you give them foresight regarding what will be their future scope in the organization that will help them next coaching you will have to give them coaching coaching is you are giving them knowledge you are giving them practical exposure and you are rectifying them in what mistakes they are doing so job rotation so if some person is working in the marketing he will be put in the finance department and some person working in the finance he will be put in in the marketing that is job rotation so you can develop their talents then mentoring programs mentoring is nothing but what moral support or mental support or psychological support you give to the employees how you motivate them psychologically that is mentoring programs then workshops so in order to help them you bring some resource person and he will conduct workshops so because of the workshops they get education they get skilled and they get to know how to work that is workshops next conferences so foreign delegates can be invited and the other managers will have a conference with them and they can take inputs from those experienced people then on the job training so on the job training means when an employee is working he will be given training on the job that is he will be made to work if he commits any kind of mistakes he will be rectified then and there itself that is on the job then leadership training that is it mainly teaches employees to become leaders inculcate leadership qualities the main reason here is it will help the employees to motivate influence other people inside the organization that is the meaning so next we go for strategic change interventions so this is the last intervention which will be studying so here we will understand transformational change so here the first is restructuring that is whatever strategies you are using today if it is not working then you will have to restructure it so or alter it that is restructuring retrenchment retrenchment means you are eliminating certain things which are not required certain strategies which are not required which are not fetching you good results turn around so you can make a complete turn around so you can discard all the strategies and you can formulate new strategies that is turn around then outsourcing that is you can take help from experts outside your organization to come out with strategies for your organization that is outsourcing spin off it is also a kind of strategic intervention which takes assistance from external sources that is spin off next continuous change so continuous change means organization the basic environment in which organization functions is dynamic dynamic means continuous change so you will have to alter your strategies on a continuous basis so if you are not altering your strategies on a continuous basis it becomes outdated when it becomes outdated your productivity will reduce and ultimately your profitability is also affected next trans organization change so this is mainly you make arrangements with other organization you sit together you sort things out you come out with new strategies new strategies that is trans organizational change this is the meaning of this that is strategic change interventions so next this is the last topic so here optimal success of od intervention so here what happens is od is most effective when it includes the following change processes so there are different processes so for optimal success of an intervention these two are the criteria cross cultural concern that is when you are coming out with the intervention it should not be against any culture whether it is inside the organization or in the society outside the organization 
there should not be any kind of strategy that is humiliating any culture. So here what happens? Cross-cultural concern is mainly regarding that. Then ethical concerns are also there. So when you are designing an OD intervention, you should keep in mind the ethical concerns. So here, increase in management power. So if one person is given the entire power of the organization, it might lead to some conflicts. So you should make, take that into regard. Next, threat to the individual rights. So obviously, if the individuals are... Uh, what do you call exploited in the organization or they are not giving any prominence to the individuals they are made to work even on weekends or asked to work overtime then there is a threat to individual rights so when you are intervening you should take this also into consideration next undermining the self esteem that is if the self esteem of any employee or any other subordinate or manager is hampered in front of other people, then obviously there will be some kind of negative behavior. So when you are designing, you should also consider this client relationship. That is, there will be a lot of clients for any organization, right from the supplier of raw materials to the purchaser of finished goods. So you should have good relationship with the clients. You should not behave with them in a very arrogant way. So this also comes into consideration. So these are the things which decide the success of an OD intervention. If these things are considered and intervention is done, it will be a success. If these things are neglected or ignored, then obviously an OD intervention will be a failure. So this is the meaning. So this is it. So we are done with the syllabus of organization behavior. Thank you.